Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Blood Bowl 2 the legendary edition with Zebu Nation and we are back once again with the Hawkland Harbingers in the Blood Bowl Tournament Championship game. That's right, we have finally reached the end of this here competition, the ultimate competition, the Blood Bowl, and our opponents are the Occult Papyrus. Take a look at these guys. They are a Camry team, which I don't believe we've played yet. <clears throat> Let me take that back. I think we have played them before because they've got the four mummy characters, which are a real pain in the butt to deal with. But other than that, let's see. Oh, yeah, we have played these guys before. Not these particular, this particular team. But a Kemri team we have played before. They've got, you know, a couple of regular skeletons. And then they got the Throw Raz and the Blitz Raz. And that's about it. And then they got their four Tomb Guardians, which are the big, nasty mummy characters. This guy's got six strength. The rest of them got five strength. So that's really disheartening. And then they got a bunch of just sort of regular skeletons. So, you know, they're... Uh, Again, they're another sort of top-heavy team, but uh, in terms of top-heavy teams, they, they, are, they do go pretty deep because of those four mummies. Even like a level 1 Tomb Guardian is pretty tough. Level 2 guy with guard, guard, and extra strength. They've all got guard except for the level 1 guy. And then they've got a couple of leveled-up skeletons as well. So this is going to be a pretty tough team to deal with, especially if they, uh, you know, if they start knocking out a bunch of our players. So we're going to have to deal with that. Offensively, they're going to be a little challenged because all they really got are the throw raws, but they don't really have anybody to throw the ball to. So they're definitely, uh, definitely got some problems in that situation. But it's going to be an interesting game, a fun game nonetheless. So let's go. Let's see how we got here. Take a look at the schedules. In uh, week one, we defeated... Let's see, who did we defeat? We're not on this first screen. So there were 16 teams to start out with. We defeated the Summer Spirits in week one. 3-0 to nil, and then 4-1. to one. Then uh, day two... Come on, let's... Go back here. Where are we? We defeated the Feathers of the Sun 3-1 and then 3-0. And then in day 3 or week 3 or game 3, series 3, whatever you want to put it, we defeated the Bone Coffins 2-0 and 3-0. So we've really stormed our way through this competition. And let's uh, let's go for the match. Let's uh, start things up. We are the Hawkland Harbingers, by the way, a human team. I assume you've watched most of these before you got here, but if this is your first time here, this is a team based off the team in the comic book, Blood Bowl comic book that came out earlier this year by, oh, I want to say Titan Comics. I could be wrong about that. It could be IDW. One of those two. I, I think it was Titan. But anyway... They created this team, Hawkland Harbingers, and I've recreated all the players. Now, some of those players have since passed away. <laughs> they have since been murdered on the Blood Bowl field. But, you know, we still got several of the players around, and, uh, you know, it's, it's just a fun little experiment to see how, see if we can take the Hawkland Harbingers to the Blood Bowl, just like they did in the comic book. And there we are lining up. There's our big ogre, tiny gar in the middle of the defense. And uh, we're looking good. We're looking good. Number two is Drang. Well, he was Drang Sternblood before he got murdered. <clears throat> so, the, so the star of the comic book actually got killed. Here are these sort of problematic um, Egyptian skeleton kind of guys. I don't know if that's the best way they should have gone about it. But anyway, who, who am I to talk about cultural appropriation? Anyway, they got a star player, it appears. A star mummy, or a star skeleton, and a uh, chainsaw goblin. So they've had lots of money to spend. That could make them even more difficult to play against. 
There's the Naf Goblin with the coin toss, and we're gonna choose defense like we usually do. They've got a Halfling Master Chef, also so annoying. They gain two rerolls, and we lose two rerolls. So that I hate that when that happens. We still have five rerolls left, though, so that's pretty good. Now here's the question: What are they gonna do with these four mummies? I doubt they're gonna stick to this formation, but you never know. Um. I guess we'll go with this and see what they do. Just because, um... If they put all four of those guys on the line, they could really beat us up on the front line. So I don't think we want to... We don't want to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with these guys just yet. And there they go. Um, okay, so they've lined them up sort of as linebackers. Like a 4-3 formation there. Kind of a uh, wishbone at the back. That's interesting. All right, we'll kick the ball. Kick the ball as far back as we can. Changing weather. Very sunny. Minus one on all passing rolls. That's not good for us because we like to throw the ball quite a bit. So here we go. Let's see what they do. They're probably going to send their star player to go get the ball. He's got stab, block, Jump up, it looks like. Uh, pass block as well. So he's got a lot of interesting skills. So he's more of a he's more of a lineman. Here goes their mummy, Tomb Guardian. Forgive me. Run around there. Chainsaw Goblin is toe to toe with our ogre. I don't like that. All right, they're spreading out wide, sort of uh, not giving us an indication of where they're going. Now the good thing about playing one of these teams is that they are very slow, so it uh, we can use our speed to our advantage. Looks like they're starting to load up here on our left-hand side. See if that guy can go back and get the ball. Is that a throw raw? He loses the sure hand roll. So that is to our benefit right there. Turnover. All right. So, what we need to do is get this guy out of the way and blitz downfield. So, we will do that. Dirk Blunt will do the honors. Get this guy out of the way. Get out of here. Follow it up. Smash him. All right, let's go. Let's go. And then, uh, I guess I'll go over here and mark this feller. Just because I got four strength, he's got five strength. That's no good, but, uh, you know, whatever. He'll take his lumps. All right, so that lets us get Sigurd Nordman downfield. Have our linemen blitzing into the backfield. Normally, we like our blitzers to do that, but uh, they're going to be occupied at the moment taking on this guy. Hathor the Westerner. That's an interesting name. We're going to triple team him, bring our deep safety down. That's our that's our thrower, Galahad Hartman. Uh, we want to get our catchers downfield too. Dieter Geert, one of our skillful catchers. Get him downfield just to uh, add some offensive punch there. All right. So now let's, let's think about blocking this guy. So first we block him with Ottman. If we get the push roll, we can push him down the line. And then block him again. So let's do this. Just a one dice roll. We're triple teaming him. We got one dice against him. So we'll push him down the line. See if we can get another block against him. Krieger, our team captain blitzer. He also gets a push. So we'll just keep on pushing. Get out of here. All right, Tiny Gar, our ogre. Let's see if we can smash this chainsaw goblin. No, we will go bonehead. That is not good news. Now over here, <clears throat> this is this is even worse news because, uh, you know, we got a minus against this guy. He's got five strength. That's no good. How are we doing here? We got minus, minus. That's one of their throw rods, though. We could block him pretty easily. 
Oh, that guy's got guard. I hate him already. So we bring half hand down here. We can get a a single die roll against this guy. Knock him out of the way, maybe. Nope, just a push. That's fine. We'll stay here. Hear those bones are rattling. And then what do we do? Do we do we try a minus block against this guy or do we just back off and run away? See what happens if we run away. Is there any other reason not to do that? I don't think so. One guy gets away. We'll elf it up here. This is what I call elfing it. Elfing it. Alright, so we've elfed it up over there. That's fine. So the last few matches we've had the advantage physically, or at least we were just as strong physically, but we're going to have to play it a little bit loose with these guys and not get into a lot of uh, brawls on the front line because they've got these mummies that could just steamroll us if we let them. Can't have that. Harbinger's got to play smart. You know, we got them already on the ropes because they got a thrower back there. Probably going to have trouble catching the ball. They're moving their chainsaw goblin. Going after our catcher. They love to go after our catchers. And sure hands gets there. But we got a lineman who's lining him up. They get a double dice block down here on our catcher. But he's got fend, so they just give him a little sidekick. They finally get their first knockdown versus one of our linemen, and he gets smacked pretty good. Mighty blow. Harkat is stunned. Yeah, get skulls, block skills. Neither one of us had the block skill. That's interesting. Who was that? Oh, that was Hartman, our thrower, but that's good. We knocked down one of their mummies. That's all we needed. Okay, so I could bring him over here and get a plus one. He dodges away from that chainsaw. That's good. Now we could get our first touchdown of the match right here if we're careful, if we're lucky. Ah, just a push. I'm going to re-roll that. Ah, still just a push. Push him towards the sideline and follow him up. All right, so he is in a real rough position right now. She'll move Galahad down the line of scrimmage. Let's see, Tiny is... There's nobody around him, right? He could... Uh, he could just go over here. Yeah, that's good. Now I need to mark these guys. I don't really want to do this, but I kind of have to. These guys are gonna have to. T we're gonna have to take our lumps just to keep these guys away from this situation going on here. We want to isolate these guys. Three, they're two on one. Let's see what we can do. We got a. Plus one on this guy, and we get it. Get out of here, and I'll stay here. Get punched. Get punched, sucker. Okay, now we can get a little bonus over here. We don't have to, you know, we don't have to dominate the line of scrimmage of these guys. We just have to hold our own. Okay, stay there. Get out of here. That's fine. Uh, Klaus half hand. I guess you can. Mm. Is there any reason to stay there or not stay there? I don't know. We'll stay there. So let's go. All right, we got them spread out around the field. That's good. That's what we want to do. There's a big hole in the middle of our defense, but they don't really have the speed to take advantage of it. And the ball is way over there in the corner, so they're just gonna sort of have. Fun, uh, probably blitzing our catchers, doing weird stuff like that. 
you know, keep, you know, we got their mummies, we got two of their mummies on the ground, one of their mummies is just kind of wandering around, this guy, he's got to get up, can't move very far, this guy just got to stand up, he's going to get smashed again, oh, their star player tried to stab, didn't work, there's their blitz, I told you they were going to blitz our catcher, triple dice on Klaus Halfhand, no, he's injured. I, um, no long-term effect. I'm going to have to allow that. That sucks. He's our best catcher, but better that than him getting killed or something like that. Now, we save the apothecary for either massive injuries or death. And the fact that he hadn't... Is that it? That's all they're doing? Alright. Alright. Stand up. Stand up. Let's uh, push this guy out of bounds if possible. Or just smack him. Um, he does not have the block skill. I do, so I'm going to hit him with the block. Get punched. Get KO'd. Eomut Apacus. Get smushed. The ball goes out of bounds. Goes out of bounds again. Goes back in bounds. All right. Look who we got here. Our thrower, Galahad Hartman. Gonna go get that dang old ball. Pick it up. Got it. Take a step forward and toss it. Look at this. Our catcher. Dieter Geert sitting there doing nothing. Short pass, 50%. Accuracy, look at that. Look at that accuracy. Look at that touchdown. We're going to go score in the middle of the field. Do, 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 do. Touchdown. Harbingers, 1-0. You know, we got the speed, we got the skill. They took out one of our catchers, and that's no good. But, you know, we still got the advantage on these guys. All right. All right. And Ali Babad is sent off. Also, Hack is sent off. So all of that money they spent on these star players, they are out. Get out of here. Okay. Um... I don't think we want Albrecht Hoffenmeister in. We want uh, Routes, our other catcher. So there we go. Go back to the diamond formation. This is our diamond defense. That, uh, you know, it worked okay. Can't, uh, can't really say much against it. So we'll confirm that setup and let's go. They're going with the exact same formation again, so that's hopefully everything works out the same as last time. We're going to kick it right to the end zone again. Perfect defense. The Harbingers can set up another <laughs> legal defense if we want. Uh, you know. Like, why not? Um... Why not move these guys up? It's kind of like a blitz, but not exactly like a blitz. You know, because we get to move some dudes around, get closer to the line. Alright, let's see what these dang old skeletons do. Blitz Raz and Throw Raz and whatever. No Catch Raz, apparently. Okay, they're going to move their mummies up to the front line. That's a good idea. Tomb Guardians. Uh, let's see. So it's obvious that this guy's going to go get the ball. Senru Kempfef. Kemef, Senru Kemef, whatever, the throw raw. 
He's going to try to go back and get the ball again. He was kind of unsuccessful last time. Let's see if he can do it this time. Yep. No problems this time around. Only a push. That's what we want to see. Get out of here. No, nope, they're using their blitz on our blitzer. I don't like that. That's going to mess things up. Um, uh, He hits Krieger, who still does not have the dodge skill. Gets smashed pretty good. And stunned. All right. Krieger is stunned. Uh-oh. They've collapsed this right side of our field. Ouch. Right side of our line. That's no good. Um, You know, we still got... We're still okay because we can still blitz them down the sideline. We're going to move our catcher up here, which you know, normally don't want to do, but uh, desperate times come for des call for desperate measures. So Ottman can now get the blitz on this guy, and we can get our blitzer down into the backfield. Um, he's got the block skill, so we're going to use... We're going to use the tackle on this guy. Get out of here. Get punched, sucker. And now we can head downfield with our blitzer. Put some pressure on the ball carrier. We're going to make him... We want to turn him back this way so that he goes to where we actually still have a halfway decent defense. So we don't want him cutting back this direction where they've kind of smashed us. All right. Um... I guess we'll go after this guy since we got the double dice on, on him. Get uh, get wrecked. Get wrecked. Oh, skeleton man. Those skeletons, they don't have very good armor, right? Yeah, they've only got seven armor, so we should be able to injure some of these guys. Um... Now, the question here is, do I want to shore up this side of the defense? Probably do. You know, so I think I... Um, hmm. <laughs> All right, we can bring route over here and get a bonus on this, this Cracker Jack. So that will allow Harkot to get two dice on this guy and just knock him back. That's fine. And then we'll stay here, stay out of the reach of those mummies. Get dusted, son. Now we can reestablish the line of scrimmage here. Now they still got, you know, this whole area they can maneuver in, but hopefully, you know, we've we've taken care of that. I could just blitz this guy downfield, blitz Viscount Wolf down here, put even more pressure on that thrower. That seems like a pretty decent idea. Heck, we could send everybody after him. You know, send three blitzers after him. Well, that, you know, he could get wacky and throw the ball, so we'll stay here. Um... We'll at least have some semblance of a defense at the line. So we got two blitzers going down the backfield. That's pretty good. I mean, I doubt that he would throw the ball. This is a, eh, it's a blitz raw. So, you know, it wouldn't be out of the realm of possibilities. All right. So now he's going to go as far as he can. They're probably going to try to cage up with this, you know, him, this mummy. Maybe this guy can get over here. They'll form a halfway decent cage, I suppose. But, you know, they still got two blitzers to deal with. And we got a catcher over there. We got a blitzer over there. They, they got all kinds of problems. Okay, okay. Might be able to take out our ogre, Tiny Gar, in the middle. And that will, uh, that will do some damage. But well, we have this secondary line back here that's pretty strong. And again, they got no speed, so I don't know how they score a touchdown. 
It's four turns left. That's not helpful. Does he have Fend? He does not. Ouch. Blark. He'd use the re-roll. I will stand firm. I don't know what that was. He tried to push, I think. I think that was a push. Rawr, rawr, rawr. All right. Um, where's our guy with Gar? There he is. Harkot. Might as well move him up into the fray a little bit. Hmm, that didn't help at all. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so we'll figure that out. Um, this we definitely have the advantage on. Smack this guy around. Just a push. Uh, uh, that's alright. Push you back and follow him up. That's fine. Krieger is finally unstunned, so we can send him forward. Okay, good man, good man. Now, what do we do with these guys? What do we do here? Still got Galahad Hartmut back here, looking, uh, you know, deep safety. So he's fine where he is. We also have Sigurd Nordman who can do some stuff. Hmm. Could bring him over here to mark this guy. That sounds alright. Now the question is where are we going to use our blitz at? Um... Yeah, I think we blitz this guy. Probably. I mean, he's a tough guy, but uh, he's got guards, so we'd probably be best off blitzing him instead of somebody he's next to. So can Rout get here? He's going to have to go for it to get there, but I think that might be worth it. Okay, he's got sure feet. So that helped him out. So now we can blitz this guy with Ottman. Put a tackle zone on the ball carrier. No, not really. Dang it. Um, Reroll. I don't think we're going to make any other rolls. Ah, didn't matter. All right. We're just going to push him. Push him here, I guess. Follow him up. That's not going to work because he's got guards. So we're still screwed. All right. Uh, we'll mark this guy. We will... Uh, we will... Not do anything with that guy. Do we sacrifice Viscount Wolf is the question here. We could put him here. Or here, I think we'll put him here and sacrifice him to the pesty Memothortis, whatever, Tomb Guardian. Um, he's going to stay here on the ground because this guy's going to just going to hover over him and watch him. So we'll end the turn right there. All right, so they're being, uh, they're being difficult. But, I mean, they got three turns. They're not going to score a touchdown. They're too slow. But they could keep the ball and prevent us from scoring another touchdown. And they could do some damage on our dudes like this here. It's a big smackaroo. No injuries, though. That's what we're looking for. Now they can bust this guy up. Not really. He's got the fend skill. Get out of here. Okay, just a push. That's good. They freed up their ball carrier. But again, what's he going to do? Where's he going to go? He's just going to go right there. It's fine. Now they're probably going to smash Tiny. Nope. They're going to smash Harkot. Ouch. Oh, and the piling on. I really don't like that. That makes me sad. 
One dice roll over here just to push. Okay. That's fine. I'm gonna go after Tiny with double dice. No luck. He's gonna re-roll that. He gets Tiny down on the ground. I'll stand firm. Ouch. Okay. Okay. So if this was any other team, I'd be worried. But because it's these guys, I'm not particularly worried. All right, Tiny, stand up. He's boneheaded, you, you bonehead. Um, Harkot can come over here. Um, Dieter can just sort of fall back. At this point, we're in, uh, I guess we're in prevent defense mode. Stand up. One dice there is probably the best we can do. Dirk Blunt can take care of this guy. Just a push. Unfortunately. All right. Stay here. Just uh, made life worse for Krieger. He's now got negative against these guys. That's unfortunate. Um, yeah, you just uh, jump up and run away. That's fine. Okay. Um, yeah, we're going to play prevent defense, I guess. Run our catchers out of there. Get out of here. Hello. See you later. We're elfing it. We're elfing it, boys. We're elfing it. 67% dodge. Get out of here. You know, uh, okay, you're going to have to sit there and, and take it like a man. Um, we can run over here, maybe. Nope. Failed dodge. We'll reroll that. Okay, that's good. Whoops, what are you doing? Block this guy. There we go. Um, we've got the block skill. He does not get dusted. All right. So now, since we got other guys playing safety, we can bring uh, our thrower up front, Galahad Hartman, and allow Sigurd Nordman to block this guy. Uh, we both have the block skill, so this is going to be a standoff, but that's fine. All right, so we've pulled back our defense. Decided not to go mano a mano with these skeletons, because really it's, that, that would just be bad news for us. It's still probably going to be bad news. They're going to be able to block a few of our guys. But not so many that it'll, you know, they'll be able to knock a ton of us down. And we've already got the 1-0 lead, so, the, you know, this is just sort of wasting time at this point. Push back, is that all? Yep. Yeah. Neither of us have the block skill. I got to get a level up for Harkat so that he can get the block skill. All right, what are they doing here? They're just sort of moving the ball over there. Kind of makes me wish I hadn't sent my catchers back. Yeah, he's going to cage up. That's, you know... When he cages up with the mummies, it makes it so difficult to break through. Cause I, you know, unless I can bring my ogre over and smash, smash somebody with my ogre, it's just such a mismatch. I have to triple team one of these guys just to block them. Okay, so he's using the red dice against my thrower. He does not have the block skill, so. Oh, he does have the block skill. I was looking at the wrong guy. That's no good. That makes me sad. Didn't injure him, though, so that's good. Um, I guess we'll see if Tiny can blitz this guy. Hey, look at that. Get out of here. Oh, get dusted. 
And stun. That helps. All right. So now we got now we got stuff happening. Stuff going on. Dirk Blunt can uh, step up right there. Take on this mummy man. Let's see. What's his strength? Five. So three. Four. If I bring him down, that'll be five strength. Six. We could maybe triple team, quadruple team this guy. Get a bonus on him. You know, it'll leave our defense a little bit bare on the backside, but, uh, you know, like I mentioned before, they don't have any speed, so it doesn't really matter. We've got the block skill. Don't think he does. He does not. So get roasted. Okay. That didn't quite have the effect that I wanted, but it's good enough. Stand up. Now let's try this block again. Nope. Double skulls. Reroll that. Double smacky smacky. All right. Follow that up. Get smashed. That's good. One dice, you know, no dice. So we'll block him here just to try to get out of the way. So that moves us away from that mummy, and now we can get two dice here. This is good. This is good. Uh, we got the block skill. Get blocked. Sucker. Now you, Harkat, just needs to back up. And he gets tackled. <laughs> He is stunned. All right. I mean, we we had one one foul up in that whole turn. I guess. I guess we can uh, we can take that. All right. Let's see what they do. They got one turn left. Not gonna score, but they could uh, they could cause some damage. They gotta blitz one of their mummies probably. Standing everybody up. Oh, look at that. They're blitzing our ogre. Tiny Gar. They get the knockdown. Um, I will stand firm. Org. Punched him right in the kidney and then piled on to boot. Now that allows them to move their thrower over here and cage up. Okay, that's fine. That's fine, 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 fine. Oh, we're going to try blocking our blitzer here. Not uh, really much of an attempt there, just a push. That's fine. So we actually have a half, half a chance to get a touchdown. Okay. We can get somebody to knock him uh, him down. The ball gets free. Thrower gets the ball, throws a long bomb into the end zone to this blitzer. Is it is it likely? No. Is it possible? Yes. Okay. Okay. Tiny, you stand up and go here to give us another plus one. So we're looking at right now Blunt, Blitz him. Ball goes here. That's no good. It's really our only, only option, though. So, okay. First things first. Throw this guy. Yes. Get out of here. Get dusted, sucker. Yeah, sure, we'll follow him up. Smash. All right. Looking good. Step one, looking good. Step two. Smash this guy. Looking good. Oh, let's see. If we... um. Yeah, let's just use the block skill. He does not have the block skill. We do. 
Oh, miss it. Drop it, drop it, drop it. Yes! Yes, 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 yes. Um. Move. Here, I guess. Doesn't really matter. Just need to get you out of the way. Okay, um. Next, let's get you into the end zone. Uh, this is a clear lane right here, so get you into the end zone. He's got the dodge skill and everything. It's Detlef Ottman waiting in the end zone. I do not have um, nerves of steel, so that's no good. Is there anything I can do over here? I don't think so. I don't think there's anything I can do to, uh, maybe, if I get this catcher here, get a plus one on this guy, knock him out of the way. All right. We're just trying all kinds of shenanigans to get a last second touchdown. Got a plus one here. Can we do it? Yes! Get dusted! We've cleared up the ball. How about that? That has allowed Galahad. Pick it up, my friend. Yas. Um. Do we want to risk a go for it? I don't know. We can get here. And. We got a 17% chance to long bomb it. Let's do it. Nope. Uh, nope. Okay. I mean, it was worth a shot. That would have been like an epic touchdown if we'd gotten that. The old halftime Hail Mary, but uh, it's not to be. Okay, so we got one injured guy. They got two disqualified guys. And a knocked out guy, so that's good. Slowly whittling them down there. Halfling Master Chef still doing his dirty business. All right, we got to... Um... Got to move these guys around again. It seems like we have to do this every time, even though I save it. Doesn't matter. All right, oh, wait, what's this guy? Route, what are you doing over there? You're supposed to be over here in the run and shoot position. This is our run and shoot offense. Gorgeous Garrick. No, Harkat. We'd rather have Harkat there because he's got that uh, guard skill. All right. Uh, yeah, let's go. Do you really want to confirm your setup? Yes. Okay, that was fun. He bounced the ball off his head and then booted it downfield. And we've got kick return here with Galahad Hartmut. Can't quite get to the ball, but that's okay. Uh-oh, they get a free blitz. Look out. Uh, any occult papyrus, let's see, P occult papyrus gets a free bonus turn. So, there we go. They're going to blitz while the ball is in the air. Anybody who's not in a tackle zone gets to move. It's unfortunate for us. going to let them, because this is a really dumb formation they're in. I mean, I guess it's, it's very defensive, sort of. But now they get to bring all these guys up to the line of scrimmage and cause no end of trouble. The good news is we might be able to just break through one part of the line and then we're going to have clear sailing to the end zone. Yeah, 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 yeah. So all we have to do is cause one little gap in their defense and we'll be able to... Uh, you know, cause some problems. Okay, they just blitzed Dirk Blunt. That's no good. Ouch. Oh, and he's injured. Not happy about that. No long-term effect. 
Ah, okay. I gotta, I gotta allow that, unfortunately. So yeah, they are going all out at this point. Okay. Okie dokie, but they're in trouble. That's all I gotta say because. All right, we got Harkat. Go over here. Give us a bonus against this guy, and then we're going to clear the sideline with Night Wolf. Night Wolf, good man. Blast him to the inside. Get out of here. Get roasted, sucker. And then, uh, you know, do a little backside defense right there. Now we can just get the ball, throw it over here to route, and route is down the sideline. No muss, no fuss. All right. Um, like we gotta mark people now is what we gotta do. Guess we'll mark that guy. That's the best we can do, I think. All right. So it's all going to come down to these skill rolls here. Pick up the ball. Sure hands. That's good. Run over here. No problem. Do a little short pass to my man. Uh, route. Accuracy. Aye! The pass skill fails us. This would have been an easy touchdown. Now we're going to have to grind it out. Going to smash us all over the place. That's no good. Okay, that's fine. You know, the important part is what do they do over here? They're still kind of blocked in over here. You know, they still... Um... That's no good. Because now they got a, a skeleton free who can go get the ball. That's no good. Okay, I knew this was going to happen. Ouch. Oh, and piling on. I hate this guy so much. We got to do something about him. He gets the KO on Viscount. That's fine. Okay. Smash. Otman, but Otman's got the dodge. Get out of here. Oh, that kind of covers up that hole a little bit. Yeah, the skeleton's not fast enough. All right, we still got touchdown possibilities. As long as Tiny Gar can hold his spot. Okay, that's, that's not great, but that's still okay. Don't be injured. Okay, we still got this, we still got this avenue open to us down the sideline. Yes, he just gets pushed. Ah, no, he gets knocked over. Okay, now we're in trouble. No, what are they doing? They're idiots is what they're doing. Okay. Okay, I mean, what did they What did they do? Why did they do that? They had, uh... They had this guy right here. Could have just came right through and grabbed the ball. Makes no sense. Oh, come on. <laughs> sure, hands has failed me. What is going on? We should have scored this touchdown twice now. Should have stood my guys up first. Now, now they'll do it. Sure, now they'll do it. All right, all right, all right, all right. Aha, right. uh -huh, they dropped it. 33% chance to pick it up. Come on. Come on. Let's get real here. Let's get real. Okay. All right, now we got now we got issues. All right. Um Now we got issues. We got a lot of issues. So many issues that I don't know what to do. All right, tiny stand up. That is step one 
of many. All right. So what do we do now? What do we do now? I think... I think we have to, like, blitz these guys so we can catch... I don't, I don't know. I don't know. We're in trouble. We're in trouble. Big, big trouble. Sigurd Nordman. Not going to help, unfortunately. This guy has six strength, so he's a real pain in the Batinsky. Tell you what. I tell you what. Route. Um, I kind of just want to run him downfield. I don't know if that's the best thing to do. I kind of just want to like go get the ball, but I don't think that's the best thing to do. Ugh, 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 ugh. We got so many problems that we're just... Compounding our problems. Um, okay. No, that's not a good idea. 17% to pick up the ball. We're going to have to do this sort of the old-fashioned way, I guess. Let's get out of here. We're going to have to just kind of bash our way towards the ball one die at a time there we go nice smash get out of here they're on our side of the field so they can score from this position they're not that slow i mean they're slow they're not that slow 67 percent dodge he gets tackled do we have a reroll? we do let's use it Gets out of there. Good man. Okay. So yeah, he's got a 33% chance to pick it up. Alright, so let's see if we can get this guy out of here. Um, block skill. Yeah, get roasted. Okay, now we don't have anybody left to get the ball, though. So that's problematic. Yeah, get dusted. Stay there. I should have moved forward, I guess, so I get a, a bonus on this guy. But now I get a minus on that guy. That's no good. I um, guess I'll stay there and take my lumps. All right, so we got the ball temporarily surrounded, I guess. But we'll see what happens. Got a lot of turns left. They could still get a score. One of their throw rods gets their hands on the ball. Anything could happen. They've managed to muck it up. This is what you don't want against one of these teams, is to let them constrict you to the middle of the field and, you know, you know, surround you with their mummies, like what's going on right here. Then they get smashed or caught. Get out of here. Ouch. KO. KO. This is no good. You know, they're uh, slowly whittling us down. <laughs> Surrounding us with their mummies. Not good at all. Krieger getting smashed. Krieger is dead. We cannot let that stand. All right. Use the apothecary. Fractured skull, lose one point of armor value. That's why we keep the apothecary around, just to avoid guys like that getting murdered. But we could lose the blood bowl. We could lose the blood bowl because of that. We're gonna have to disengage, or we're gonna get we're gonna get chopped up like a meat grinder. Okay, route. You're going to have to be number one man to disengage. He's our only guy who can really drop back. 
into a defensive position here. So he's going to have to dodge. It's good. Okay, Tiny Gar, stand up. You're going to get... You're going to get crunched seven ways to Sunday. I, I'm sorry, but... Alright, next up... Sigurd... Now we'll move Otman next because he can dodge. So we'll just move him over here. There we go. That's good. That's good. That's good. Now we'll try. Yes. You know, we're elfing it. There's no question about that. Now we got one good block here. So we'll blitz this guy. You know, use our advantage where we can, and all we get is the push. So we'll just sort of push this guy over here. Um, I guess we'll follow him up. Why not? All right. Um. Ah, uh, Galahad. You're going to have to stand up and possibly take some lumps, my friend. Dieter Geert. Um. Dodge. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Guess he'll stay there, maybe. Maybe go here. Maybe go here. Yeah, that seems better. Okay. Um. Yeah. One, two, four, six. We only got seven guys left on the field. Brutal. Brutal. Five turns. At this point, it's just it's just a matter of keeping them away from the end zone. Block skill, yes. Ouch. Ah, Galahad is KO'd. We're down to six players. This is not good. They're going to surround the ball. Okay, their throw raw gets it. And he loses possession. This is a slippery pig we got here. Okay. Okay. Sigurd. Um. You know, we might as well take the the blocks where we can get them. Knock this guy down. Get dusted. And stunned. That's good. Not minus, minus, minus. All right. Um. You know, like the same theory applies, right? We're gonna use use our bonuses where we can. Blitz this guy. Get him out of here. Get dusted. All right, now move down field and get into a more defensive position. That's good. So we kind of got, you know, we kind of got most areas covered, I guess, in a way. Sort of have them surrounded. All right, four turns. Let's hope the computer is going to be more interested in smashing than they are in tying the game. They just sent their throw raw over to grab to surround my catcher. Sending this guy instead of sending one of their guys downfield, they're going back to destroy my catcher. Okay. Sending their linemen to get the ball. He picks it up just fine. Now he's running downfield, but we got these two guys over here. They could possibly still stop him. He can score in one turn. 
finally smashed my catcher. Quadruple teamed my catcher and KO'd him. Oh gosh, we're down to five players on the field. They're going after Tiny and they get the knockdown. I'm going to stand firm. And the piling on. Nope. Okay. Oh, and they end their turn right there. What are these guys thinking? What are they thinking? I don't know. But it ain't good. Alright, stand up. Come on, Tiny. We only got five guys on the field and you're refusing to stand up. Okay. Okay. So. Sigur Nordman. Come over here and give us a plus one on this guy. What does he got? Mm, he's got block. He's got tackle. We shall send Detlef Ottman after him with the blitz. Let's go. Go. Ah, just a push. We're going to reroll that. Just a push. I hate you so much. Okay. Come over here and surround this guy. Yep. All right. Got a start. Stall him for three turns. <laughs> I gotta stay there and take my lumps. Tiny, you ridiculous ogre. Why did you have to pick now to go so stupid? I know lying in the grass is like fun and stuff. Feels nice, but you gotta get up, buddy. You gotta get up. We need ya. This guy's got two agility, so he's not dodging out of anything. They've only got one blitz available. They're going to surround Tiny, I guess? I mean, that's, that's the one good thing of having a guy down on the ground, a valuable guy, is that the computer will do this sort of situation where they're going to just surround him okay that's fine that's fine because I got fend now he's gonna blitz slowly he blitzes come on you can fall over it you can fall over no nope. just the push Ra ra ra. Okay. Now he's blocking this guy and just gets a push. Interesting. Interesting. I mean that was that was a pretty good move because he caged himself up. Okay, tiny. Let's see if you can stand up. Keep these guys busy. There we go. Good man. Gonna get smushed, but that's fine. Um. Five strength guy, so three. Um, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Um, could try to get lucky with a double dice roll. If that happens, then all bets are off. I mean, at this point, what do we got to lose, right? Because they got, they still got two turns to score. I'm going to give it a try. Double red dice. Okay, we just got the push. That's fine. Push him there. Follow it up. Okay. Now we got a regular dice roll. <clears throat> 
knock him over, and then go get the ball with this guy, possibly. Push. Uh, do we want to re-roll that? Nah. Um. Yes, re-roll. Uh, no. <laughs> that was the only thing that could ruin it. Now they're going to score. They're going to score unless the computer pulls a dummy move. They're going to score. I mean, they're going to take their sweet time, of course. And maybe he'll uh, just sort of forget what he's doing by the time he gets to the end. But we'll see. Push. That's fine. Oh, pushed him over there, too. Okay. Gonna knock this guy out of the way. Once he does this, his road to the end zone is clear. Ow, oh, Sigurd Nordman is injured. Nothing we can do about it. No long-term effect. This guy's going to, I don't know, run forward for some reason. He's going to block this guy. Absolutely taking their complete sweet time. And smash as many of our players as possible. There's the touchdown. He just sort of falls over, doesn't know what to do. Unbelievable. Doing some sort of thriller dance. I've never seen these guys score before. Wow, that's amazing. Well, they don't have skeleton cheerleaders, though. I guess, I guess that's okay. Four injuries. Wow. And four KOs. Two guys get back up, though, so that's good. They got two guys disqualified. So it's a tale of two halves. You know, we dominated the first half. They dominated the second half. Now we don't even have a full lineup. We can't score in one turn. Fortunately, gorgeous. We'll drop you back, I suppose. Who do we got here? Albrecht. Maximilian. Otman, yeah, I guess. Got one catcher. Um, yeah. I mean, yeah. Okay. Bash the head and kick the ball. All right, let's go. Um, all right. Quick snap. Okay. He doesn't need to move, but everybody else can move a square, I suppose. Get up here. Get up here, I suppose. I mean, that's the direction we want to go. Uh, so... Ah, uh, so. Alright, three, six, eight, nine players is all we got on the field. And he drops the ball. Come on, now. Come on, boys. I mean, we can't score in one turn. So... Uh, we have to do the best we can. Push, get you out of here. We'll stay. Move him there. See if we can smash this guy. Yes. Oh, get punched.
Alright, um... Yeah, 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 alright. Smash this guy out of the way. Well, yeah, just a push, I guess. Um... Bring him over here. We're gonna throw one pass just to try to get some skill points. You know. Um... Tiny's gonna block this guy. I'm just gonna push him. I really wish Tiny had block. That would make this so much easier for me, but no. Alright. Pick up the ball. Nope. Not. Don't pick up the ball. Ugh, this has been the worst half of Blood Bowl imaginable. Just everything has gone wrong. So they're gonna get one blitz against somebody. Probably this guy. They are lining him up for the smackaroo. He's the only guy on their side of the field. Yeah, they could blitz that guy too. They're, you know, but they're going after our linemen, so that's sort of the least of our worries in terms of if anybody they could go after. We don't want them going after our blitzers or our lone catcher or our thrower. Who is this? Oh, that's gorgeous. I forgot that's gorgeous. Our guy our guy with two agility is the one trying to pick up the ball. I, I uh, forgot about that little handicap. Literal. A literal handicap. He's got like a broken back or something. Broken neck. Oy vey. All right. Come on. Come on. Come on. What are they going to do? Who are they going to blitz? That guy. Yeah. That's who we thought. Who is this? Max Million Funkleberry gets the triple dice. They smack him. And he's injured. Oh, my God. Serious concussion. Loses one point of armor value. Little Lord Funkleberry. Ouch. Five injuries. Two KOs. Zero KOs. Okay. That's good. So we get two guys back. They got their knockout back. So they got three substitutes now. It's fine for them. Now what? Now we start again. It's a fresh start so the carnage can start all over again. Um, do we have to play a whole new game? I don't know. I'm going to take the ball. Okay. Okay. Um. Okay, thank you. We do have Galahad is back. Gorgeous is... I mean, we're going to have to use Gorgeous as a lineman, I think. Yeah, we got Route. All right, we got... All right, the good news is we got all f three of our blitzers. <laughs> um, go gorgeous out on the wing as a blocker. We got two catchers. We are a man short, though. Okay. Okay, a man short, but just one. This guy, okay. They're not going to have their mummy kick it, just a skeleton. Going to boot it. Can't get to the ball, but that's fine. And they get a blitz. Oy vey. Okay, we would have scored last time. Last quarter, last game, last half, whatever. We would have scored if we had... You know, had a couple of rolls go our way. So maybe we can do the same again. We just got to knock down one guy. All right, they're going to bring everybody to the front line. And we're just going to have to knock down this guy here. Oops, maybe not. 
They're not falling for that trick again. Yeah, this is going to be difficult. Very, very difficult. Goodbye, gorgeous. He gets smushed. Arg. And they put a tackle zone on our on our uh, catcher. So it's sort of a double whammy right there. All right. So who is our Huckleberry? Is this guy our Huckleberry? Possibly. No, I don't think that's going to work because of this guy and that guy. Hmm. Hmm. This might still be our guy. Hey, we get rid of him, and we can run route down the sideline. But I think we're gonna have to do it with one. No, we can we can use this guy. We can use Viscount Wolf. No. Hmm. We got so many problems right now. So many problems. So very, very many problems to figure out. This is like really bad math. I mean, we could knock this guy out and then that guy out and then... Run him down, but there's too many guys on this side. We gotta go this way. Just no question about it. All right. So it's gonna come down to one roll. And we got it. Nice. Get out of here. Yes. Now we can do this. Okay, we can uh, move over here and do this, I guess. Yeah, I mean, we're going to have to go for it. Pick up the ball. Got it. All right, I guess we're just going to have to... I mean, we could throw a pass. Catch, you know, is that... Are we going to press our luck like that? I don't think so. We're, uh... I love passing the ball. Don't get me wrong. But, you know, at times like this, you can hand it off. Just hand it off. All right. So now we can run... He's got sure feet. Dodge, catch, sure feet. All right, so we're going to sprint. No, we're going to sprint. Yes. Got sure feet. Get downfield as far as you can. Good man, good man. Okay, now uh, this guy... I don't want to sit there next to this mummy, so I'm going to run away, use the dodge skill. Likewise, going to run away. Yes, yes, yes. All right. All right, all right. We got a man with the ball downfield. They're going to have to, like... You know, do some stuff here. They got to get Tiny Gar out of the way. And then maybe they can blitz with one of these mummies. Nope, they're just going to run that guy. Okay. Okay, he's going to have to dodge. He does. One dice, just the push. He's got Fend. Get out of here. That is outstanding. It's probably the best thing that could have happened. Not gonna lie. 
The fend skill is so good on catchers, just for that reason right there. It, you know, it it turns. Oh, nice block! It turns their move against them. That is exactly what happened right there. All right, so we're just gonna score. Like, forget these boneheaded lunk faces. We are just gonna score a touchdown. Get out of here. Two to one. Is that? Is it sudden death? I have no idea, but good job, Route. Cheerleaders are happy. They're dancing. This is fine. This is dandy. Let's see. Let's see. End of the match. It was sudden death. All right. Wow. That was the most uh, drama-filled most drama filled game we've had. Look at that. You even got rolled a five. Got 80,000 bucks in the treasury. Outstanding. <laughs> Obrecht Hoffenmeister is the player of the match for some reason. Not a lot going on here. Galahad Hartman had one skill point for throwing a pass. Route had a touchdown, Geert had a touchdown, and then, ugh, the Papyrus crushed us. Uh, Amantan Herrer had the man of the match, player of the match. Then injuries from Nesheb, from Ujet the Savior. Uh, Iumut Vera had a touchdown. Hather the Westerner had two injuries, and Sayat Jaten had another injury as well. We just got crushed. What about the statistics? 11% ball possession. Terrible. They only had 47%. So 58% of the time the ball was passed. The other 42% or was possessed. The other 42% of the game the ball was just lying on the ground. Wow, that's amazing. Um, we completed one pass, 39 blocks to 46. They had four. Four KOs, five injuries. Wow. What a championship game, and we pulled it out. Your team has won the Blood Bowl during the summer. You can now have a party and join a new competition for autumn. Victory. All right, so there you go. We have won the Blood Bowl. Season 1 complete in the books. We failed to win the Autumn Championship. Then we came back. We won the Winter Championship. We won the Blood Bowl Qualifier. And we won the Blood Bowl Championship in a thrilling game. You know, a, just a, a crushing game. You can see how every once in a while the computer team will uh, be able to smash you. And that's really the only way they can win. But there we go. So Blood Bowl Season 1 of our Eternal League is complete. So until next time, uh, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.